In this tutorial, I'll create this colleague effect with uh, a single image. I'll close this off and load my image into GIMP. And here's our image. First, we need to make a layer because I'm not quite sure what size is there yet. The frame will be. I make a new layer and it makes it the same size as the image you have at the moment on the screen. <coughs> I go and select my rectangular selection tool and I draw a selection around these people here, with this little girl and, and the chap on the phone. I swing my uh, colours around with that uh, arrow and I choose the bucket fill tool. I fill this with a, with a white Now I return to my rectangular select tool and select inside there and leave a, a space at the bottom. That's just similar to the Polaroid camera effect that they had in the, in the mid 1970s. Now because it's a new layer it'll have a transparency in it so while I've got the center selection set, uh, selected I hit delete key and delete it. Now I select the outer side of the uh, selection. Now I go to edit and a copy. That places it on the, on the clipboard. Now I go back to edit and I paste it back in. And that pastes as a, a floating layer. So I'll make it a complete layer. <coughs> and that layer is now the exact size of that frame I made of the Polaroid uh, camera image. So this new layer we made, we no longer require it. It's far too big. So I put it in the waste bin. Now that we have our, <coughs> our frame, we duplicate this five times. And you can, you can uh, duplicate it yourself depending on the type of image you've got. Now we've got it selected, that's the top one. I go to my move tool. Make sure you have this radio button here active. Move the active layer. So I move this layer over to this gentleman here. And then I go to my tilt tool and just tilt it a little. Turn it to rotation and click. Let's place that image in that one. I go to the next step down, which is the other layer, and that's the, the layer that we're going to be working with. I go to my move tool once again, and I move this one over to these other groups of people over here. You can see why now it's important to have this radio button active because we're dropping down through the layers. I go through my uh, rotation tool and I rotate this one just a fraction just to give it a, a random look. Now I select the next layer, return to my move tool and then move it to something else on the on the image like so. I go to my uh, rotation tool again and I rotate it just a slightly off opposite to what the other one is to give it a random effect that they're not all laying in one line. Now I move down to the the next one and I I go to my move tool and of course I'll move it uh, over that lamp like so. I won't cover the bottom image and so I'll just tilt that one once again go to my rotation tool and tilt it opposite to what the other one is there not too much and hit rotate. Now the last one I'll leave as is that's the one there. Now you can see all those layers are now that size, that's why it was easier to work with. Now I come down here and I turn this eye off. I return to the top and I right click the top layer and select merge visible I images. That's the reason I turned the eye off on the on the background layer which is our image. Now I'll merge the uh, the, all the layers together. Now I switch the eye back on. Now you can see there's a dotted line all around there. That's the size of all of where those cutouts were placed and they were the layers. So the, the layer dialog has made a layer in that fashion. So we need to make it the full size of the image in the background. So we right click on on the top layer and go to layer to image size. And that's moved all that Mansion, marching ants border around the uh, image to the full size. Now we've got that we can go to our uh, bucket fill tool 
and I've selected patterns over here that's the pattern uh, dialog and if you're going to fill it with a pattern make sure you have uh, pattern fill radio button selected just select go into the area anywhere into the image because we're dealing with the uh, the pasted layer which has got the transparency and the, the true background image is in, is in the lower layer so we click on the top and it lays in that uh, wood pine effect in the background now all we need to do now is right click on the top layer and uh, merge layers down and hit OK and save it as a normal so there we have it we have that random effect all out of the one image you wouldn't feel that it is the one image but it is so that's the way you do it this one here where it's laying over the top of the other one well you can remove that prior to uh, laying the, the image down you, you do that with the uh, eraser tool so uh, thank you for watching and rate my video and you'll find a link to uh, my website on the my channels where you'll find a printout of this in a PDF format